the ramifications of COVID-19 are continuing to unfold. As the world works to stop the spread of the pandemic, we must not forget the unseen producers in our supply chains. They are the people who help put food on our tables and clothes on our backs. They are the ones most vulnerable when a crisis strikes. Workers and farmers around the world are facing drastic cuts to their income as their places of employment close and harvests are threatened by labor shortages and changes in the market. Apparel producers are facing shutdowns or reduced operations due to decreased demand and workers who are unable to get to work because of shelter in place orders. Agricultural supply chains are currently active, but many workers lack personal protective equipment, sanitary supplies, and even the necessary transportation to get to work. There is a decreased demand for seafood, which is leading to reduced production and earning potential for the fishermen and the producers who process their catch. In the midst of this somber situation, fair trade continues to be a way to give farmers and workers the tools they need for resiliency. While fair trade alone is not the solution to this unprecedented pandemic, we can be encouraged by stories of hope, camaraderie, and compassion from around the world. A coffee cooperative in Colombia is offering incentive pay to workers who follow sanitary and social distancing protocols. They are also providing more shuttle buses to transport workers to and from their jobs so there is less crowding. An apparel company in India continues to pay its workers. Employees have been encouraged to work from home with any tasks that don't require being on site. Its company store is helping the community access daily necessities while supplies are rationed or disrupted. And its medical clinic continues to serve employees and their families to take care of minor ailments, easing the burden on large hospitals. Clothing producers in Bangladesh are providing free masks and hand sanitizer. They are also implementing strict guidelines around distancing, checking workers' temperatures every day, and continuing to pay employees who are unable to come to work. Coconut cooperatives in the Philippines are providing staple foods like rice, corn, and vegetables to the workers at the most remote farms whose communities were cut off from receiving these basic necessities by the countrywide lockdown. Due to increased demand for protective masks, apparel producers in several countries have switched all of their output to making them. This production change has allowed their employees to keep working and receiving their wages. Artisans, farmers, and workers all over the world need us to spread the word that they need fair trade now more than ever. And this system can only work if consumers continue to seek out the fair trade options in their local communities. When you support fair trade, especially now in this global pandemic, your purchase really does make a difference.